Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models, and this is day seven of 30 Days Lost in Space. This is the board that we built yesterday, and today we're not going to be doing any more building with it at all. Uh, we're using it, but today is all about coding, um, changing the, the program that's going to run on it. Uh, so I shall put that to one side. I shall set up the screen so you can see the coding a little bit better than you have been able to previously, and we'll see what we're going to be doing. So over to Alex to see what's happening today. All right, welcome back. Incoming transmission again, once again from Adventure Corp. Um, we last time uh, talked about getting that blinking LED to go on and off depending on the rate of charge. Um, and like I said last time, today we're gonna be doing something ever so slightly different. Um, obviously, it's good to know what the rate of charge is, but uh, it's a little bit better to know when your battery has enough charge or is fully charged. Um, and to do that, we're gonna be adding in a little bit of logic to yesterday's program. Um, and we're keeping the wiring diagram exactly the same. So today is just gonna be a couple extra coding concepts. Um, and uh, hopefully this will allow you to tell when you have enough charge to go forward with some of the next projects. So the changing in code, we're basically going to be charging our batteries in the, the storytelling of the day. So to do that, we need a couple of extra variables. We need the battery capacity and the battery level. Uh, now they are becoming what's called unsigned. Uh, if I can spell it pr properly. Uh, unsigned integers. Uh, it's all to do with how it changes to binary and numbers going beyond certain values and things it, it i didn't understand most of it but there we go uh, so we're going to call this battery capacity uh, and we can give that any number we like uh, the one they chose and the one i'll put in there is fifty thousand. it's a nice number that gives us it's it's high enough to count up to and you know low enough that we'll get there eventually uh, the other unsigned integer we're going to have uh, is the battery level. I'm not sure about the capitalization in these. They, I'm doing, I'm spelling it wrong, but I'm doing it the same as he's done it in the course. Uh, I think the capital in the middle is just to make it easier to differentiate between them all. Uh, so we've got that set up there now. Um, so we've just called it battery capacity or a batter capacity again i've missed that one out there um and battery level uh now in the loop we need to add an extra chunk of data uh what we need to do is to change the battery level uh and basically add it to itself uh so what we're going to do is make that plus equals a uh, sensor value. Now, as far as I understand it, what that does is takes the battery level and it's exactly the same as writing battery level equals battery level plus sensor value. But it's a shorthand way of doing it and an easier way of writing it out, basically. Uh, so now every time it goes through the loop, First time it will take battery level as being zero, it'll add the sensor value to it, and then it will make the lights flash and everything else. Actually, we're not going to bother with the lights flashing. We're going to get rid of all that. Uh, I'm still going to have it printing it, I think. Oh, I've just copied some of that. Uh, yeah, we're not going to have the delays and things on there. I'm just going to print the sensor value to the screen uh, and put in a short delay, as he has there, of 50. Right, that should be that. So every time I run it now, it will print on my screen, which I'll set up for you in a moment. Uh, it will print up the battery, the sensor value, and the battery level. I want it to print the battery level as well, but we'll worry about that in a moment, because uh, there's a whole new section to do about that, which I'll get to momentarily. 
Okay, I have changed one thing. I've changed it to serial print battery level instead of sensor value because I don't really need to see the sensor value. I'd like to see a number getting bigger. Uh, he hasn't done this in the video. This is my own twist on it. Uh, so I shall set things up so you can see it and uh, hopefully it will work. Okay, so now you can see the numbers there. Uh, it's running the old code from last time. So if I cover it over, the numbers get lower and it comes through much quicker because that's the one that was all tied to the, the delays. Uh, so now if I verify that's working, uh, it's not. Uh, batter level was not declared at this stage because I spelt it wrong again. Let's put a Y in there. Try that. Do you like that one? Yes, it likes that one. So now let's upload that to it and that should change what's being displayed there. Uh, right. What are we getting displayed there? Numbers that are getting bigger quite quickly. Um, but getting bigger slower when there's no light covering and when, when I uncover the lamp it's going up quicker that's yeah sort of what i was expected not quite the numbers i was expecting but i should have been really i should think uh right i'm going to go back to what they say we should be doing and uh we'll go from there right i've just uh compiled the new coding and found out that capitals do matter i missed an s on there so i need to make that a capital s and then apparently uh, no, it's, I don't know what that means. Oh, I put in print LN. That's what it should be. Oh, it's a capital P. That, that's a, I put in a capital P when it needs to be a lowercase p. So, yes, it makes a difference. There we go. I think I've done the same thing down there. Yeah, look, serial, that should be dot and a lowercase p. Uh, that's that. That's that. Right, let's see. Nope, it still doesn't like that. Uh, serial, because uh, you have capital S. Yes. Always make sure you get your capitals correct, because otherwise it just won't like it. Doesn't like that either, because uh, I missed out two letters. That's that's a, a new special just for me. Uh, and there we go. Still not working down there. Because, uh, again, I missed out a Y. I'm good at missing out the Y, aren't I? Right, hopefully that's it. Yes, it likes that. Right, let me talk you through it and see if I understand it. Because hopefully I'm going to learn by explaining as well as trying to figure it out for myself. Right, the big change this time is this new uh, section. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a uh, basically a, a small program within a program. So whenever I, I call up print battery percentage, it will just do this instead of having to type this every time I want to do it. I only do it once down here, but it's a learning experience. Uh, so what this is doing, if you remember in the quiz, it said about doubles and uh, integers and things. Uh, double basically means that it's going to have a decimal point after it. Uh, so what we're doing is we're printing onto the output screen, which is still down there counting up numbers. Um, we're going to print the battery level with percentages, and we're dividing that by the battery capacity times 100. So that will give us a percentage, and then we're printing a percentage sign at the end of it. And a print line seems to be pressing enter afterwards. So that we're printing, but not pressing enter. And then we're putting the percentage sign and then pressing enter. So we're going to the next line. Uh, now, when are we doing that? That's the real question. Down here, we're still reading the value. We're adding the battery level, adding the sensor value to the battery level each time it goes through the loop. Now, this bit, and an if else loop, uh, we're reading the battery level if it's greater than or equal to the battery capacity. Uh, then we're going to do this. If it isn't, we're going to do that. So basically, if the battery level isn't fully charged, we're going to print the percentage and run through it all again. If it is equal to or greater than we're going to print fully charged and we're going to make it exactly equal to because as we're adding random number or not random numbers but larger numbers to it we're adding not not single digits there's a chance that it's going to be greater than rather than equal to so we're just going to make it equal to and then we're going to print fully charged and at the end of that so loop we're going to delay for 50 again and then go back into the loop again so we'll be adding numbers to it each time so hopefully when i click this button here that says upload uh, the lights on the thing will flash to say it's receiving information. 
the numbers stop going up because it's stopping getting information. Uh, it's done uploading. And then we have percentages. If I cover it over, the percentages go up very slowly. If I expose it to the light, they go up faster and faster. But the delay between them is still the same. And when that gets to 100%, we'll see. I'll slow it down when it gets to like 90. I'll slow it down a bit. So we'll see. That's just by putting my finger over the sensor. 95, 6, 7, 98, 99. And there we go. We're fully charged. So that did work. It's just going to keep printing fully charged in the corner there forever now, but until I unplug it. Uh, that's what we've learned. It's a little bit of coding, a little bit of, um, uh, say, an if-else uh, logic problem thing to sort it itself out. So, yes, I'm a little bit sad that we didn't get to build anything today, but also a little bit happy that I think I've understood more about that. And it's helping me in trying to explain it to you in the video to make it think through as to why I'm doing things and what I'm doing things about. So, yeah, that's it. Um, apart from letting Alex sign out, as has become tradition, uh, I shall see you tomorrow for more things and possibly, hopefully, some more building. So thank you for watching. I'll uh, actually let, let me let me go back to there we go. Let, let, let's go back here. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now. And with that, um, you should now be able to tell with this logic. Obviously, once again, um, your charging speed and etc may vary um, but the logic behind it is about the same um, so once you get through with this today's course and concepts um, tomorrow you get to look forward to a fun little device here it's once again looks like an led and if i put it on this camera looks like an led but it's got uh, a few extra pins I'll tell you tomorrow it's going to be the introduction to a very colorful um, new device and we will show you all of this which will hopefully eventually be used and it will be in some other projects so with that being said we look forward to your transmission tomorrow this has been alex over and out